G'day folks, thought I'd upload this short video about a solenoid engine that uh, my grandson and I built oh, a couple of months ago now, late 2016. It's uh, just an ordinary solenoid engine in some ways, but it is rather unique in another, in that uh, it has a microcontroller running it, a Pickax 08M2. Uh, we always intended putting a governor on it, and uh, that was easily achieved with a pickaxe and an optical pickup system here. You can just see the slot type pickup there with the uh, shutter alternately blocking out the light. And the pickaxe uses that to fire the solenoid and also measure the speed of the crankshaft. And Another unique feature of this is that it's a hit and miss type. Like the old time engines used to use, instead of a proper governor, um, it just fires the solenoid whenever it needs to pick up speed and then it holds off firing until the uh, crankshaft reduces its speed a bit again. And it works, works rather well. Now the whole thing was made out of scrap components uh, except for the pickaxe, we had to purchase that. The crankshaft and flywheel is taken from an old VCR, the capstan shaft and flywheel. Um, solenoid itself, we had to rewind. It was high voltage type, so it wasn't suitable for 9 volts. And the rest of it, we pretty much made an old Eddystone die cast box an old knob and uh, as you can see it, run it runs fairly smoothly without any power so we'll just plug it in and see what happens and uh, it's got a knob on the top which is actually the throttle so if you wind the throttle up a bit and just give it a tickle and you can see the orange light on the top there just flashes every now and again that's when the solenoid fires, and that's the hit and miss side of it. It doesn't fire all the time. And it can go quite fast. Now if I load the flywheel up, you'll see it firing more often. I want to keep the speed up. If I take the load off, it stops firing so often. So the hit and miss governor works quite well, I think. You can see another little green light flashing in there. That flashes every time the shutter passes in the light beam and we've added that just to help us set the timing other than that it serves no purpose and well thanks for watching folks and we'll catch you later